Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles, and this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is an energy of someone who's quite busy, quite um, overwhelmed right now, having to balance something out here. Um, this person could also be faced with a decision to make, and it's like needing to choose between head versus heart, or just trying to weigh out the pros and cons here. But we're seeing here someone who's juggling in some way. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Leo. Okay, so the first card we have is the Judgment card, and this is Scorpio Energy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Next, we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy. So again, we're seeing this energy of needing to make a decision. Um, somebody is struggling to make a decision. It's like they're stalling for time with the Two of Swords. Um, there is a fear of making the wrong decision. But with the Judgment card, again, we're seeing a decision needs to be made here. Um, and with the Four of Swords, it's like... Um, you know, it's like someone's putting this off, um, you know, because I, I do see it's, a, it's a, there's an overwhelming feeling here. There is also a fear of, um, you know, hurting themselves, you know, making the wrong decision. With the Four of Swords, this is someone who has experienced pain before and they've recovered from it or they're recovering from it and they don't want to go back to that place. They don't want to go back to the Three of Swords now that they are in the three in the four of swords but i do see some sort of decision needing to be made and it's like if this person doesn't make the decision it will be made for them is what i'm seeing so let's clarify these cards leo So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card again, and this is Scorpio energy again. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. So again, it, it, this, this decision needs to be made. There's this crucial energy of having to choose here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Leo. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire energy. Next, you have the Eight of Wands, Fire energy. And finally, you have the Queen of Wands fire energy so a decision will be made i do see someone here will make up their mind about something and initiating some sort of beginning with the ace of wands and with the eight of wands it's like a communication is coming in quickly from this person so this is someone who was taking their time um stalling creating some sort of stalemates or blocks in communication but I, I do see um a change happening where you will be getting some sort of news from this person um and this person is going to make you feel very desired with the queen of wands something about their um actions towards you is going to make you feel like they are really attracted to you they're going to make you feel very beautiful um there is this energy of them being drawn towards you and initiating something here this could be initiating this um passionate communication and i do see um moving something forward okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um leo
Okay, so the card says nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay, so there's definitely this energy of somebody here still weighing out the pros and cons or weighing out the, the situation. Um, and this is definitely an indecisive energy here at the top. Someone who's still unsure. Um, but I do see them, um, you know, reaching out in some way, communicating with you. You'll get a lot of communication with this Eight of Wands. Um, there's something about this person still being changeable. Their mind is still changeable here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. says finances and career financial issues are a factor in your life right now so this person could be just overwhelmed they have a lot of responsibilities they have a lot on their plate right now um, and they, they they may feel like they need more time they may have been stalling for more time but i do see this person eventually reaching out and when they do it's like it's going to be overwhelming the way in which they reach out you'll get um, a lot of communication from this person but I do see this coming after a period where there's just a lot of stagnant energy from them and this could be also involving them focusing trying to juggle career trying to juggle responsibilities as well as their love life at the same time okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you um Leo God says elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So this person could be someone who you've been patient with. You've had to be very patient with them. And I do see um, allowing this person to come to their decision on their own is going to work in the situation because this is definitely someone who needs to make their mind up. And I, I do see there's this energy of you showing up as the queen of wands, which is really an energy of you, um, you know, not really lowering yourself for this person or waiting on this person because this person does seem to be confused or conflicted in some way here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.